Hey guys, um, so today I thought I'd do a 50 facts about me tag, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> 50 facts about me tag because I haven't done one for ages and I just thought I've got quite a few new viewers since I did my last one and you guys may not know some things about me so I'm just going to shoot just random facts about me and that you may not know about me and I've tried to make them different to my last one so if you watch my last one you won't be yawning. I'm half English and half Guyanese and I was brought up in Harrow in like Greater London in England. In Nando's, I only eat the spicy rice if it's with the cre the white creamy sauce. Of all sounds, I hate flies and the sound of drilling, and especially erratic drilling. When I was growing up, at one point we had two mice called salt and pepper and two chickens, <laughs> and they were called Gertrude and Jemima. I used to be obsessed with Harry Potter, and I still love Harry Potter, but when they were looking for actors, I sent about 10 letters to them because I really wanted to be Hermione. <laughs> I have a French bulldog named Riley and an English bulldog named named Franklin. Film and story wise I love psychological thrillers and I rarely like romantic films because I just find them soppy and boring and unrealistic. When I was very very young sometimes I would sneak downstairs and eat sugar from the sugar jar. I'm 25 years old. No I don't care if my tattoos go wrinkly. I was raised Catholic. Christian, but um, I don't really follow any specific religion. I've forgotten both of their names, but I'll write them in the video. I have two weird crushes. One is on who is now Hulk, and he was um, in Zodiac, and he's been in loads of stuff. And the other one is Haymitch in The Hunger Games. I don't know why, it's really, really weird. I wish Fashion Week wasn't full of pompous a-holes. Before I started doing YouTube, I was studying fashion styling, um, but within that course we did a bit of makeup as well, and I think what I would have tried to pursue is makeup uh, in TV and film, because I loved doing prosthetics and that kind of thing, and I just thought it would be really glamorous, but didn't get into that in the end, but I'm happy where I am. I believe that everything in our lives, everything that happens to us is for a certain reason, whether we know what it is or we don't know, and I feel like a lot of the time you'll realise why something may not have happened and I also think that people put into your life are there for a reason whether they're someone you have a, a short conversation with when you're out and about shopping or something or I just feel like everyone's there to send some sort of message to you. I'm not a fan of the royal family. When I first met Jason the first night I choked on a Jaeger bomb that we were all doing and I ran to the toilets and hid there for about five to ten minutes because I was really embarrassed. <laughs> I feel like I'm very intense with things. I I, I love things very intensely and get really obsessed with things and then I also really dislike things a lot um, so I'm, I, I feel like I'm a very all or nothing kind of person. I believe in ghosts and or spirits. I always feel like I have to listen to the TV and music really loud otherwise there's no point. I just feel like if the music's on really low in the car or something it's just like annoying noise so I have to listen to everything intensely and I have to watch TV and films at home like as if I was in the cinema so it's really you're really into it. Oh, I'm getting sweaty. <laughs> That's not a fact. Well, it kind of is. I often feel like I overthink just about life in general and about myself and I don't know what my purpose is and why I'm here and um, sometimes I just think too much. My favourite foods are pizza, burgers, croissants and salads. My drink when I go out is usually either rum and ginger beer, now an amaretto sour because I newly love them, or a mojito. My favourite places to go to at the moment in life are London, New York, um, Ibiza and Greece. Oh and Paris. God. I want around three to four kids, maybe more, but things might get a little bit tricky at that point, so you never know. <laughs> the only films I've walked out of at the cinema are Open Water and the new one that's recently been out, While We're Young. I hate slow walkers, slow drivers, and people that stare at you and then don't smile, and it's just a vague stare, and then you feel really <laughs> uncomfortable. I'm absolutely terrible at replying to people, and I never mean it personally, and I don't know whether it's to do with social anxiety, but I kind of... I'm terrible. <laughs> I have this weird thing about wearing trainers and uh, Converse and Vans. Because I naturally look really young, people always think I'm about 15 years old and I'm 25. I just feel like people will think I'm about 12 if I wear trainers because I already look young, so I have this weird thing about it. Breakfast is my favourite meal of the day because I'm always really hungry and I, I don't know, it's just amazing. And then when you're out and about as well, they do such good breakfasts and, mm, and there's so much choice and you can have savoury or sweet and you can have pancakes and you can have croissants. I feel like women are looked down on a lot but if you're interested in beauty or if you're interested in makeup and fashion and style and things but I think people forget that it's a 
really powerful form of expression in the way that people see you, the way people treat you. And also if you are in interested in beauty and fashion and things, it doesn't mean that your interests are limited there. I think that people think that's all you are is just a shallow woman, but I think there's a lot more to it. I'm really scared of my kids growing up and watching these new terrible cartoons that <laughs> they have at the moment. I just feel like we had the best ones, like the Powerpuff Girls and Tom and Jerry, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. So many good cartoons and now they, they just look terrible. Sometimes I wake myself up with a little snore because sometimes I snore, which is really embarrassing, but I'm slowly embracing it and it's just part of who I am. X-Men is my favorite Marvel comic. I'm a very like open-minded and open-hearted person, but, and I don't know if this makes any sense, but I can be really skeptical about any, a lot of things and a lot of things that the media tells us and I'm, I, I annoy a lot of people that know me because I'm always like, well, where did you hear that? It was in the newspaper, wasn't it? It was in the news. <laughs> And I'm just really skeptical. I can be quite stubborn in the way of if I'm told to do something I almost want to rebel against that because it just annoys me that I'm being told what to do. Also, I don't really like figures of authority. I'm just like you're human. I'm human. Why are you telling me what to do? Like sit down. When I'm in the car um, on my own, I love singing along. <laughs> no, hardly anyone knows this. I love singing along. I put the whole Disney soundtrack on and I just sing along and I have a grand old time. And I also love theatre soundtracks like Phantom of the Opera, Chicago, and I just get really into it. <laughs> kind of seat dance and sing. And I don't even care if people in other cars are looking at me because it's so fun. Back in the old days of me, I used to want to be, really want to be a hip hop honey and be in the, how embarrassing, and be in the videos. Uh, my favorite TV programs have to be Friends, Family Guy, and I loved Sons of Anarchy. I wish, I'm so glad that it's finished. Um, if I was a boy, my mum would have called me Carl. Wherever I am, if I'm out and about, walking around and stuff, I always try and smile at people who I make eye contact with. Um, and obviously a lot of the time I don't get that back, but I just think it's nice. Like no one smiles at each other. Everyone's really stern, especially in London. Every time I see a dog, I get really excited about it, except if it's a Corgi, a Pug or a Boston, they suck. When I'm shopping, I get really awkward in stores sometimes, especially if it's quiet and if it's just you and the assistant and you're, she's just kind of watching you walk around and I hate being asked like, I know I feel really mean, but I hate being asked like, are you okay there? And it's just like, yes. And they're like, do you need help? No, we're like, leave me alone. I'm just, I don't need help. I don't need to talk to people. I didn't come out shopping to talk to, sorry, okay. Oh, it's raining, yes. Oh my God, it hasn't rained in the day for ages and I really like it. That's another one, bonus. I love the rain and I love hearing the rain, but I feel like a lot of people are like that. Also, okay, bonus number two, sometimes when it's really, really sunny outside, I it actually makes me not as happy because I feel like I have this pressure to go outside and do loads of stuff and meet friends and and sometimes I don't, I'm quite a hermit and I like being inside but when it's really sunny, um, yeah, I don't like it. I make a mean um, apple crumble, spaghetti bolognese and spaghetti carbonara. When I was small I used to think eau de toilette meant um, it's a toilet spray because <laughs> I didn't understand French at that point and um, my mum was like coming up the stairs once and I was just spritzing her eau de toilette perfume all around the bathroom. She was like, what are you doing? <laughs> this one's been controversial with people that I know, but if I had a superpower, it would be to the power to refill everything, which I think is amazing because you could refill drinks, food, you could refill like the power on things, like your laptop and phone would never die. You could refill products, perfumes. You could refill your car so you'd never have to buy petrol. You could fill up your pets so that you don't have to feed them. I always feel very calm when I'm traveling, when I'm on the train or in a car. I just relax really well when I'm traveling and I feel really happy and at home. I'm getting better at this one, but for the longest time, I haven't really trusted children, especially young ones, because they stare at you a lot and I don't understand what they're thinking when they're staring at you. And then sometimes I'll try and be nice, but then they don't do much and then they just keep, I don't, I don't know. They're too small. This might be weird, but I love languages. I just find it really fascinating how over time, hundreds of different languages were invented all over the world, but just of English as well. I love words and I love 
learning new words and trying to be more articulate, um, which doesn't come across in my videos, <laughs> probably. I just love reading, I love words. And the last one is, usually I'm not funny with food if, if other people make it, but some eggs look weird if other people make them. And sandwiches, I don't like sandwiches. I don't trust them, who's made it? What filling have they put in it? It's, you, it's always white and you don't know where it's come from. <laughs> and I just, have trust issues with sandwiches and eggs and especially egg sandwiches <laughs> I will never eat. So hopefully you don't think I'm too deranged and you liked that video and let me know if you want to see more tags and stuff like that. I haven't done some I haven't done tags for ages. Anyway let me know your random facts as well. I'll leave them down below. And hope you're all well. Hope you have a lovely day or night and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Is the hat too much? I don't know. I, I'm totally in love with this hat. So this hat is probably my first favorite and I'm milking wearing hats with this hair because I think it just works really well.